to the Senate too now for the Virginia box. But uh, that's the thing about uh, what we do, man. It's just, uh, okay, here we go. All right, I just posted, I just put the the, the group in your box. I'm going to send it to you. Get the, get that page. Yeah. You send it. You you send it through messenger. Or you take it. Yeah, on your in your in your uh your uh, yeah. Hold up yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just sent it to your inbox. Your uh, your me- your uh, messenger. I sent you the link to the uh, okay. Yeah. I don't know why it's sending me this now. Uh, it sent me an invite to messenger, but it ain't sending me the message. Oh, 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 okay, all right, let me see, let me go back. Uh, I might be on, uh, let's see. Let me try it again. Okay. How about now? How about now? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it now. We got 132 members. Okay. Man, we would love to do that in the Birmingham area or either somewhere where, where, somewhere around where you work or wherever, you know what I'm saying, in your, in your community, in your right. school. And, and uh, I tell you what, you check up, you check that, that, that uh, uh, pace of page out, and you will see okay. the type of stuff that we do. Uh, is you on the page now? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, the first thing it says, page of books for sale. Now, that's a book that we wrote about paces. You ever heard of, you ever heard of that place called the Kettering Foundation? I have. I try. Yeah, uh, I travel to uh, to the Kettering Foundation and stay up there sometimes a week at a time, two weeks at a time. And you be meeting with minors from all over the world, baby. <laughs> Man. And get what we be talking about. The same thing that I do every day. What? Farming, okay. fishing, uh, solar energy. It's all future stuff. It's the same. See, everything right. now is geared in America toward oil and gas. Right, that's the past. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's where everything is at now. But the future, see, that stuff gonna run out, man. You ain't gonna be able to farm outside in a while. You ain't gonna be hardly even live outside. So you are gonna have to grow food in controlled environment. That greenhouse. Out there, the school is a controlled environment. It's right. 50, 50 feet, it's 52 feet long and 10 feet wide. And it's the largest passive solar greenhouse you wouldn't believe in the state of Alabama at a high school. It'd be that right. And guess who built it? Me and another retired guy from B.I. Edward Moore. So it is. Shoot, this look like a, good, a great thing for real. Man, we be we, <laughs> this, this the cutting edge stuff, here, baby. Right. But you look at this website, and uh, Doctor Jack, you, I, okay, now you see that corn, you see that picture right there where it's got me standing in front. That's the greenhouse in the background. Okay. You see how tall that corn is. Right. That's grow with I, I, that's grow. I asked to join the group too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll 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 click on it. Let's see. Okay. They're almost yeah. taller than the building, ain't? Eh? Yeah. 
Look at them greens out there. That's grown with fish poop. <laughs> right. Fish water. We we took the t- kids on a trip to to buy. We went to visit by a lady. Uh, she owns about ten or twelve ponds. You see that picture over there to the side? It says Re- recent group photo. Let me um. Uh... I'm still looking at the picture Ms. Ms. Howard had posted. Yeah, we grew that fish there. You see that fish there? That's a that's a that's a bat that's a bass. Wide mouth bass. That's what we be doing. Grow them and harvest them, baby. Wow. That's what we do. Yeah, we definitely need something like that up this way. Man. Uh, that, now in that picture right there, you see that picture with that big old blue tank, big old blue tank on it, with me. No, right. Evermore. They, Moore, they standing around. That's Evan Moore. Yeah, that's Evan Moore standing on the end, in the in the middle of Mr. White, the principal, and over there with the hat on. That's that state representative Thomas Jackson. He okay. works with him. Yeah, he came to visit to check out the facility. Now this right here. That next picture down there, uh, the group photo is. This is where we put together the uh, uh, the team that that wrote that book. It's out now that we sell it. But if you look around, and and and, and uh, Mary do a lot of the photography. Man, we grow some kind of okra down here. So, okra, tomatoes, corn, peas, squash, butter beans. Okra and all of it organic. Yeah, now as you go down there, you see where we grew fish. We got about ninety uh, bluegills uh, that we raise now. But tomorrow we're gonna be uh, um, moving into another phase where we're gonna be talking about latitude, longitude, uh, uh, all the perspectives of uh, building a building. Where you maximize the exposure of the sun for the maximum amount of okay. heat. But anyway, look around there, and uh, and uh, and if you want to, uh, uh, you can call Doctor Jack Shelton. I'll give you his number later on after you read it. Talk to him. And, uh, I man, sent you all. Uh, I sent a I sent a request to the uh, to the group. Somebody going to add okay. in. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to edit your name. Okay. And I'm going to add you. Enter your name. Email. And add. If you can, add both of my papers. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Did it pop up? Mm-hmm. I, I I just went ahead and wrote the type your name in and added. Okay. Alright. Okay. All right. As you okay. look around and, 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 and study it for a while. I like to talk to Dr. Jack Shelton. Me, or either him, or me and Mr. Moore, or, or we, we'll send a representative to whatever school. In other words, you pick a place, a school, an elementary school, a high school, wherever way you want to. And if the teachers and the principal and, 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 and uh, the 
is interested in it and they want us to come visit, we'll come visit. We'll make a presentation. We'll bring books, uh, all the historic stuff that we've done, um, all like of that, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Okay. Sound like a plan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to the studio, and uh, I'm going to play uh, your mindset about black folks in America, why we are where we are today. The gentleman okay. that just went to prison, and uh, it's about, did he pass already? The one that used to be mayor of Birmingham. Is he still Yeah, we buried him yesterday. Uh, we buried him yesterday. Oh, man. Is that the picture you got on your page? Yeah. Oh, let me just go down there. With, with a flag there, with the flag draped over the castle. Right. Mayor Langford. Yeah. Man. Okay. Well, anyway, this is all, this this what I'm finna play is from him. Okay. It's called uh, Your Mindset About Black Folks and Why We Are Where We Are Today. It runs about 20 minutes. Uh, this morning I have a special presentation I want to share with you in the public. And I want to warn you in advance, the DVD you're about to see is exceptionally graphic. In all probability, it's going to make some of us uncomfortable, and it should. I want to make it very clear, we did not produce this DVD. It was produced by a young man who is watching us today over the Internet. His name is Reginald Bullock, and he's watching us from Tennessee. The DVD speaks for itself, but let me set it up for you. But did you know that black teenagers are killing each other in rising numbers? And it is part of a troubling trend that is plaguing our communities and this nation. Our young men are disappearing either because they are being killed or because they are headed to prison for killing each other. Now, those statistics don't frighten you. And I want you to take a very sobering look at this DBD because, as I have been saying, you have to change your heart in order to change our heads. And, Madam President, would you please, this is about an 18-minute DVD, and I know our attention span in many cases uh, people like to move around, but please, I want you to please watch this DVD and give it your full attention. So, Robert Kennedy, when he was Attorney General, said that he could imagine the possibility of a Negro president in the United States within perhaps 40 years. Do you think this is at all realistic? I am very optimistic uh, about the future. Uh, frankly, I have seen certain changes in the United States over the last two years that surprised me. So on the basis of this, I think we may be able to get a Negro president in less than 40 years. I would think uh, that this could come in 25 years or less. When the bombs fell on our harbor, and tyranny threatened the world. She was there to witness a generation rise to greatness, and a democracy was saved. She was there for the buses in Montgomery, the hoses in Birmingham, a bridge in Selma, and a preacher from Atlanta who told the people that we shall overcome. Yes, we can. A man touched down on the moon. A wall came down in Berlin. A world was connected by our own science and imagination. Sir, sir, Master of Darkness, I, I, I came to apologize. I, I know that you gave me control of the African Americans on Earth, but, but I've messed up, sir, because one of them has just been elected President of the United States, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. Quit crying, you fool. You must have forgotten what I have done to the African American throughout the history of time. But, but Master of Darkness, he, he, he's Harvard educated. He's a smart man. He's a good man. He loves his wife. He, he's almost like he's perfect. And, 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 and he's a Christian. It, it's going to be really hard to stop him, sir. <laughs> there are certainly ways to stop him. Let me give you the history of what I've done to the African